Well, good job if you're still tuned in, and uh, welcome to step four reporting. All right, <clears throat> we're moving down the line here. The next area where you can find a bit to be gained, uh, I'm going to show you very shortly. Uh, we've kind of covered all through the duct, and we notice that we're kind of working our way back to the bowl. So this next area is actually in the bowl itself. I'm going to bring this up, and I will splice some better pictures in here. Let me zoom in just a touch here, see if we can get uh, a bit of a close-up here so I can show you the particular area that uh, I did the, the next work on. And uh, let me put some light in there. All right, see in there, uh, there's, uh, well, there's the bottom, okay, the light shone more on the bottom. These dividers, okay, there's four of them that come in there right in the bottom here. Um, those right there, and then there's uh, the top ones coming in here. There's uh, two on the top side, and these are the predominant dividers in this particular uh, intake. Most of these styles of intakes, they all have them. They, they change the angles a little bit. Some are farther in, some are farther out. If you look at the Victor series, um, they're a little bit uh, in a different groove or whatever. But they're mostly, you'll have those on any type of style of high-rise intake like this. Okay, that was the next area that I had worked. <clears throat> and uh, with this, I tried a couple different techniques. Uh, some of these guys, I had uh, moved them back a little bit, cut them down, and, you know, inched them back just a bit. Some of them I left in the stock right where they were at, and I slimmed them down. Some of them... I really knife edged it, got it down to a razor edge, and the other one I, I you know, probably left it with uh, 40 thousandths around there, a little bit thicker, but just blend it in there. Now, out of all those techniques and moving it back in, and then uh, the thickness, I didn't really see, I couldn't really prove there was much of a difference on uh, which one of those were better. Uh, so my suggestion is, uh, because, well, here's the number on average that I found just by cleaning that up. By cleaning those uh, those up, you can figure in you're going to get anywhere from 3 to 4 CFM increase on the ports, okay? And that's across the board, you know, it covers both sides of it. If these, these predominant corners, they cover into two different ports, okay? So not, not big numbers, all right? So my suggestion is, is uh, if you do want to spend the time in there, and remember, uh, when I work these areas, this area may take me an hour and a half to two hours, okay? And your skill level, it might take you longer, I don't know, maybe shorter time. But uh, it's only two to three CFM, and if you're going to spend two hours on it, uh, you, you're noticing it, as we get into this, you're putting a lot of time and you're not getting that much out of it. So my suggestion is, if you do decide to take this on, leave it where it's at stock, and then just kind of blend it in, knock it down a little bit, smooth it in. And up top uh, into the port, the, there it's a little bit uh, bulges a little bit. Work that area. I mean, certainly work the top of it uh, better. Slim that area down. And the bottom actually is more of a dead spot, so don't worry so much when you get into the bottom area. But work it cleaner and tighter up in the top uh, since the air comes back up, bounces and directs into the top of the port through there. So... Um, work that area if you do decide to do it. Um, if you are, uh, or consider this, uh, you might just want to go in there in the bowl because this is really a, not really a restrictive area. You may just want to go in there with your 80 grit or you can take like this. This guy right here is actually a 40 grit sandpaper. This will pretty much knock down, just the sandpaper will knock down most of the casting flash. And then you can come back in with your 80 and clean it up. And, uh, you know, like I said, 3 to 4 CFM for grinding it down, it's, uh, it may not be worth your time, you know, up to you. Uh, sometimes, uh, you know, depending on the work you got and what you have involved, um, you know, if you're like me, time is money, and I, I, hadn't, I don't have enough of either. So, um, you know, depending on my particular build, I may not bother with that area and just clean it up with sandpaper. Okay, so that's uh, section number four, or step number four that we're finished off. And uh, let's move forward to uh, step number five.